Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 3rd of July. Don't give space to Khalistani, says Tesh Shankar after poster in Canada targets Indian diplomats. Pakistanis fear IMF may allow to slow down economy, raise inflation. And Afghanistan least peaceful country for fifth consecutive year reveals report. And now for all the details. After threats were issued to Indian diplomats in Canada over the death of Khalistani leader Hardeep Singh Nijjar, India's Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar on Monday warned partner countries that giving space to Khalistan sympathizers can affect bilateral ties with India. In posters shared on social media, Canada-based separatist outfits have linked India's High Commissioner to Canada, Sanjay Varma, and two other top diplomats, Manish and Apurva Shivastav, to Nijjar's death. Reacting sharply to the posters, Jay Shankar said India will take up the issue with its counterpart in Canada. India has also expressed concerns about an upcoming Khalistan rally in Canada on 8th of July. Jay Shankar said radical extremist ideologies aren't good for the partner countries or India. I will say and I have said that we have to take our partner देश जो है जैसे कनाडा है अमेरिका है यूके है ऑस्ट्रेलिया है जहां कभी-कभी खालिस्तानी एक्टिविटीज होती हैं हमने उनको रिक्वेस्ट की है कि वो उनको खालिस्तानियों को स्पेस न दें क्योंकि उन जो उनकी सोच जो है ये ये रैडिकल एक्सट्रीमिस्ट विचारधारा जो है वो ना हमारे लिए अच्छा है ना उनके लिए है ना हमारे रिश्तों के लिए well, India's Supreme Court on Monday sought a status report from the government in Manipur state explaining the ground situation in the violence-hit region. The top court also directed the state to update the position regarding rehabilitation camps, recovery of arms and law and order situation before the next hearing scheduled for 10th of July. The direction comes after an NGO in a plea sought protection for tribal Kuki community by the Indian Armed Forces claiming the situation has worsened in Manipur. The state government has, however, claimed the situation is improving gradually. So far, at least 80 people have been killed and more than 40,000 displaced since clashes broke out in May between ethnic Miti and tribal communities. And moving on, people across Pakistan have expressed dissatisfaction over the $3 billion IMF package secured recently as they fear it will further slow down economic growth and increase inflation. A report. As Pakistan secured $3 billion IMF bailout last Friday, citizens have expressed dissatisfaction and fear it will further slow down economic growth and generate unemployment. The deal, subject to approval by the IMF board by mid-July, offers some temporary respite. But the country is likely to see further rise in petroleum levy and rate hikes by the central bank, with the IMF asking it to be proactive in curbing inflation, which particularly affects the most vulnerable. <laughs> उसकी वजह सबसे बड़ी यह कि क्योंकि यह पेट्रोल महंगा होगा तो ट्रांसपोर्टेशन महंगी होगी जिसी वजह से यह पेट्रोल महंगा होगा या बिजली महंगी होगी तो चीजों की कॉस्ट जो है वो डबल हो जाएगी जब डबल होगी तो उससे क्या होगा लोगों की खरीद और फरोख नहीं होगी और जिससे जो है सबसे ज्यादा यह प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट होगा वो महंगाई पर होगा और आम आदमी पर होगा a string of painful policy and fiscal adjustments Islamabad made to secure the IMF loan had fueled record inflation in May Pakistan still needs $22 billion to fund its external payment obligations in the financial year 2024. Afghanistan has been ranked the least peaceful country in the world for the fifth consecutive year in a report released by Sydney-based Institute for Economics and Peace. The report stresses the security situation in Afghanistan remains uncertain with an escalation in conflict between Islamic State and the Taliban remaining a strong possibility. Taliban spokesman Zabiullah Mujahid, however, denied the claims. 
Mujahid said that terrorist incidents have reduced by over 99% in comparison to what is stated in the report. Since seizing power in 2021, the Taliban has spent one and a half years setting up a civilian administration and a national military out of an insurgent force that fought a 20-year war against foreign forces and the previous U.S.-backed Afghan government. And Sri Lanka's parliament has approved a domestic debt restructuring plan crucial to continue the $2.9 billion IMF bailout program. The framework will rework part of the island nation's $42 billion domestic debt. The Lankan government has said it will not affect the banking system and public funds. However, the opposition has raised concern over the likely impacts on pension fund holders. Meanwhile, in a glimmer of recovery for the crisis at economy, the statistics department has said the country's key inflation rate has dropped to 12% in June from 25.2% in May. The island nation had tumbled into its worst financial crisis last year after dollar reserves shrank to record lows, triggering mass protest, a foreign debt default and the resignation of its former president. And same-sex couples in Nepal are preparing to register their marriages after the Supreme Court issued a temporary order clearing the way for gay marriage for the first time in the largely conservative country. The Apex Court has been considering a petition on the issue filed by gay rights activists and on June 28th, it issued an interim order allowing for same-sex couples to register their marriages pending a final verdict. Members of the LGBT community have hailed the move and said this would help overcome a range of difficulties. And she took on the Chito Thai Rupma Wale, Moila Purusko, the Sibiva, or the Kaim Gori, and say you Sapakura, the Chaliti Ramru until last the last. And majority Hindu Nepal has become increasingly progressive since its abolished 239 year old monarchy in 2008. In Asia, Taiwan is the only place that recognizes gay marriage so far. And people across India celebrated Guru Purnima, a festival dedicated to spiritual and academic teachers, by offering prayers and taking a holy dip in sacred rivers. Take a look. People across India thronged temples and took holy dips in sacred rivers on Monday to mark Guru Purnima, a festival dedicated to spiritual and academic teachers, celebrated on the full moon day of the month of Ashar. The festival is traditionally celebrated by Hindus, Jains and Buddhists who pay their respects to their teachers and express their gratitude. It is believed Guru holds an exalted position even higher than that of the God and one's Guru is the only person who can guide them on the path towards moksha or emancipation. हिंदू संप्रदाय के लोग और जिस परंपरा में अपने गुरु बनाए हैं सबकी पूजा करते हैं उनको भगवान मान करके और जो पूजा करते हैं उनको गुरु की विशेष कृपा होती है यहां से मैं मोक्ष की प्राप्ति गुरु गुरु के द्वारा भगवान के दर्शन हो जाते हैं द फेस्टिवल इन्वॉल्व्स अ सीरीज ऑफ रिचुअल्स वेयर स्टैच्यूज ऑफ डीटीज आर बेथ्ड डेक्ड विद ब्राइट क्लोथ्स एंड अडॉर्न्ड इट इज पार्ट ऑफ एन एज ओल्ड ट्रेडिशन सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द एंशिएंट हिंदू सेज व्यास who said to have compiled the Mahabharat epic. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.